What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be running through some action figures, some WWE action figures that I actually need, guys. So this is going to be a trade video where, you know, I need some figures. I need to hawk down some figures. And I figured every single time that I post one of these videos, I usually get a ton of people who come through for me. And so I need your help today. So today we're going to get into that, guys. I'm going to break down some figures that I am looking for. Hopefully you guys can help me out. If you can, please let me know down in the comment section below. You can hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up in my email. I will be checking all three, and um, it, it's, it usually works out pretty well, and we usually get all of the figures that we need here. So today, we are in search of quite a few figures, guys, so we're going to go ahead and dive straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get started with Elite Series 70 Chase Dolph Ziggler. Elite 70 Chase Dolph Ziggler, this is obviously the pink version, not the black version, the regular Chase, or the regular Chase, the regular version of the figure. I'm looking for the Chase variant, the pink version, with the Hollywood crew, you know, uh, logos on it. It's got the nice head sculpt. It's got the jacket. I only need the figure. You know, I don't need the jacket. I don't need the box. I don't need the interchangeable hands. Just the figure with the open mic hands would be perfect with me. Don't need anything outside of that. Nothing, you know, anything like that. So hit me up if you guys have that figure. Um, we also have some other Elite Zigglers, but the Elite 70 Chase is probably the main one that I'm looking for. But we do have some other Elite Zigglers here that I'm going to go ahead and plug. We have the Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler, the Elite 13, the Elite 19, the Elite 20 or the Elite 39. So basically any Elite Dolph Ziggler besides the Elite 48, I would probably take in a trade. Um, it doesn't really matter about the head sculpt and stuff like that. I just desperately need these figures. I got some fix-ups in my head that I want to do, and uh, the only way to make that happen is with these Elites. And you know what? I'll go ahead and throw the regular Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler. If you guys have the Elite 70 regular Dolph Ziggler or the Chase, I'm mainly looking for the Chase, but if you have the regular version, you know I might can work out a deal for that as well. So the Elite 70 Chase Dolph Ziggler and the rest of the Elite Dolph Zigglers besides Elite 48 are the ones that I'm looking for. So that is the first few figures, guys. Just any Elite Ziggler that is not Elite Series 48. I also have some basic Zigglers on here. So some basic Zigglers that I'm looking for are the ones with the skinny arms with the white tape. And then I am looking for the one basic that has the black wrist tape. I think it's like, it's probably like the, it's not the latest series, obviously, but it is, it's one of those middle series. He's got like the kickstart my Lana, uh, you know, attire on. He's got like the shorter brown hair. It's got the black wrist tape on the arms. They're like the skinnier mold. I don't like how every single Elite Dolph Ziggler we get from Mattel has always got the jacked arms. It's like, Jesus, like what the hell are we doing with these jacked arms? So I usually switch on the basic arms. So I do need some basics as well. Um, so any basic Ziggler that has removable arms, obviously any newer Ziggler that doesn't have removable arms will not work, but I do need the basic Zigglers with the skinny arms with white tape, and then I am specifically looking for the one with the black wrist tape, and uh, Elite 39 Ziggler goes hand in hand with that because I need the black boots from the Elite 39 Ziggler, and I need the black taped arms from the basic Ziggler that I'm talking about. So that is the first first portion of the video, guys, we're going to run through, is uh, pretty much every Elite Ziggler and then every basic Ziggler. Not every single one, but mainly, you guys know, with the skinny arms. So that is the first thing that I wanted to get through. We got the Ziggler Elites. We got the Ziggler Basics. That marks off that whole section of Zigglers on my piece of paper right here. Go ahead and mark that out. Uh, so now we're moving on to the next portion of the video, guys. We have a couple Jeff Hardy figures here. So the two elite Jeff Hardys that I'm looking for, you're probably like, why the hell you need more Jeffs? You got like a whole shipment of Jeffs on Christmas. Yes, I did, Brad, but... Uh, I do need a couple of the entrance greats, Jeff Hardy's, for some arms swaps and stuff like that for future fix-ups. So uh, we do need the entrance greats, Jeff Hardy. I went ahead and put that on there, as well as the Elite 57. Now, the Elite 57 is on here because that figure is actually quite rare. I have two of them, but the uh, that figure goes for like $50 loose or $45 loose. So you would get a very good trade out of this because the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy is just so free. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, I understand why it's rare, but it's crazy how much that figure just shot up in value especially with uh you know it's because of the tattoos you know it's the only shirtless jeff you got all that detail on the tat or you know the tattoo detail underneath the t-shirt and uh, it's a really great figure and you can do some really cool fix-ups with it so that is another figure that i would like to get um so the entrance greats jeff and the elite 57 jeff are both on the list there so if you guys have either of these figures i think they were the first two jeff hardy elites that we got outside the epic moments when he first returned to the company um the entrance gates the entrance Grace Jeff has actually gone down in value if you guys are looking for that figure. I know it is $19.99 on Amazon, so if I can't get any deals, if I can't strike any deals here with you guys, I am going to go over there to Amazon and get a couple of those. So Entrance Greats, Jeff Hardy, Elite 57, Jeff Hardy, the next portion of the video. We got both of those. So that is the other two. 
two figures on the on the list. We got the Zigglers, we got the Hardys. Now we're moving on to some other figures that I'm going to go ahead and get into. Uh, starting out first, guys, we do have the Chase Elite 72 Buddy Murphy. This is a figure I never tracked down. I don't really know why. I just really haven't done it. I think it's one of the more cheaper Chase variants, though, so... Uh, Maybe if you guys don't have this or I can't strike a deal, I should be able to find this figure because I don't think it's as rare as other chases have been in the past, especially with other figures, because this one's black. Um, you know, chase variants like Ziggler and other chase variants that have a better color detail in the chase variant usually are more rare. Uh, luckily, this time with the with the Buddy Murphy Elite 72, they actually made the colorful version, the regular version, and then the chase is more of the boring attire with the black and white. So I actually want the chase, uh, the chase variant Buddy Murphy, though, just for future reasons, I just like that figure. I, I like the black color. It's a good switch up from the red version. And I actually have a, a fix up in my head that I'm thinking about doing. So that is something that I want to do with the Chase Variant Buddy Murphy. So Chase Variant Buddy Murphy is also on the list. The next figure that we have, guys, is the Cash In Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins with the Elite 37 head sculpt. Really big fan of this figure. I do have a, a couple fix-ups in my head for this figure as well. So if you guys have the cash-in uh, Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins, this figure is just such a beautiful figure. Guys, I remember when this figure first came out, it was a very big deal. Um, I remember when I first got it, it was mock, and I really didn't even want to open it, but then I was like, you know what? Screw the mock. I'm going to go ahead and open them. So now I open all of my figures, and it's probably... It all started with this cash-in... <laughs> Almost vomited. I think my obsession with opening my figures probably started with this Cash In Rollins. But uh, there is Cash In Rollins. He is the next one on the list. The next figure, guys, is the Network Spotlight AJ Styles. So the white version, the Toys R Us exclusive Network Spotlight AJ Styles. It's in the WrestleMania 33 gear with the white, the red, the blue, with the Elite 47 head sculpt on it. Pretty solid figure right there. I enjoy that figure a lot. Um, need it for some fix-ups and things like that. Uh, I also need to put this figure back in my collection after we did surgery on it. Um, I'd like to get it, you know, remade just how it is out of the packaging. Not any bull crap, no switcheroos, you know what I'm saying? Maybe switch, I'll probably head switch it when I get it, but... Um, cause I don't like the way the head sits on the neck there. So I'll probably head swap it when I get it. But this is another figure I'd like to track back down and put it back inside the collection. We have the Network Spotlight Toys R Us exclusive AJ Styles. So, and by the way, these are all, all loose figures. I, I don't need any of these mock, if you guys are wondering. Uh, no, no mock figures. I don't need accessories. Uh, I don't need any of that. Just the figure themselves will work perfectly for me. So there's Network Spotlight AJ Styles. The next figure, guys, is Elite 72 Rey Mysterio. A uh, pretty new figure. I think it's a fantastic figure. I had like a crazy idea in mind just looking at the figure the other day for like a, I don't know, I, I'll get, we'll showcase that later on if I can get that custom done and stuff like that. I've been trying to film Hell's Gate, so I haven't been trying to do many customs, but I have so many customs in my head that I just want to do, and uh, one of them has to do with this Elite 72 Ray. So Elite 72 Ray is on the on the custom board. We also have a ton of Jeff Hardys that I want to do for customs, but I just am running behind on Hell's Gate and life and stuff interfering, so I'm trying to get those customs done, but I want to get Hell's Gate done as fast as possible. Then I'll do the customs when I can rest, you know? So, uh, Elite 72 Ray's on there. I have a custom in mind I want to do with him, so I definitely wanted to plug him. The next figure, guys, is Elite Series 70 Johnny Gargano. Now, Johnny wrestling football, basketball, baseball, wrestling football, Johnny Gargano looking very good here. Very rare figure uh, as well. Just kind of shot up in value after the initial push for it. Um, I can't remember. I think I, I, I have two of them, I think, but... Uh, I want to do some other customs, and that figure is pretty much a perfect formula for doing other Johnny Gargano figures and stuff like that. So I did want to track down a few more and put some Johnny Wrestlings in the collection because we don't have that many. And while I'm not the biggest fan of Johnny Gargano, I still like him. I still like his gear, and I want to do some cool, you know, fit customs and stuff like that. So Johnny Gargano's on the list, guys. I wanted to plug Elite 70 Johnny Gargano if I can make a deal for those. And the last few figures that are on my list, guys, are some older Elite Kofi Kingston's. Now, these are the ones, like, I think it's like the Elite Four, the Elite uh, Elite Nine, the WrestleMania Elite, and maybe another Elite. Uh, it's, it's the ones that have the Finn Balor torso, but they're in the darker skin tone, obviously. It's the first Kofi torso they started using before they switched it to the later torso that we have to this day. It's when they start, they, it's when they used to use the Finn Balor torso. I use it to torso switch onto my Cedric Alexanders, and since I got like three or four Cedrics for Christmas, I want to take the old Kofi Elites, crack the torso, and then put them over on my Cedric Elite, so I do need some older Kofi Elite figures. So if you guys have that, I would desperately need to make a trade for those so that I can torso switch those, 
because I don't want my Cedric Alexanders looking like Daniel Bryan torsos over there and he's Slater torsos. Like, come on. Got to have the ripped up torso for my Cedric. So definitely need some of those older Kofis. Again, it's the it's the older ones. It'll all be on the screen so you guys know which ones I'm talking about. I don't need any of the later Kofis. I need specifically like the first two or three elite Kofis just for the torso alone. I don't think any other figure has that torso. You know, Apollo Crews has a different torso. Shelton Benjamin has a different torso. Uh, Bobby Lashley has a different torso. Velveteen Dream has a different torso. So none of I don't think they ever remade this torso uh, in the skin tone like they did with the first Elite Kofi Kingston. So I definitely need those to finish out my Cedrics. But I think that's all the figures I need. I can't think of any more at this time. But again, I wanted to make this video because, like I said, you guys usually do a really terrific job of helping me out. Uh, also, I wanted to mention uh, to you guys and just tell you guys thank you so very much for all of the kind words about Ali for reaching out for you know checking on us and you know uh, all the kind comments you guys left on the community tab on the video from yesterday and everything like that we really really appreciate it while we're going through this um, obviously we're still going through it but uh, it is very nice to know that you guys are you know supporting us and continuing to you know show support of us and give us kind comments and all of that so I really really appreciate that so very much more than you guys ever know but if you guys have any of these figures it would really mean a lot to me if you would hit me up for a trade or whatever you want to do we can we can work it out maybe i have something that you guys are looking for so definitely hit me up in the email hit me up on the instagram and the whatever and we'll go ahead and get some deals done hopefully we can get some of these figures in the collection we also have some epic customs coming in the mail that will be for sale so definitely stay on tune for that cannot wait for that i will definitely put up a whole video about that and then we have elite series 75 that should be in today or tomorrow hopefully and then we'll get the freaking reviews going but you guys know how that is i never get the figures first so We'll just have to see about that. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Stay tuned for everything coming soon. Got some Royal Rumble coming up this weekend. We got, uh, I'm, I'm still grinding on Hell's Gate. I mean, we got some epic stuff coming, man. Customs and Elite 75 and Royal Rumble and freaking Hell's Gate. I mean, everything is coming together. We're about to get it rolling here. Trying to get 2020 back on the right track. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Help me out if you got these figures. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNameToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.